Hi, my little Troopa Loopas. Um, just want to let you know if you're part of the Patreon crew, all the Zodiacs are now uploaded and ready to view. Okay. And if you are not, um, I wanted you get. Uh, I wanted to give you an opportunity to 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 purchase and see what it is I did this week because I did it completely different. So I'm just gonna give you a little demo, a, a brief one on how I did something. Okay. Um, and then you know if because I just feel like these ones were really important. Like I did the lesson for the week. Okay, this what you're dealing with. So if it's happiness, then you can choose to be miserable, or you can choose to look at something differently. And, and then what it is you're gonna go through. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little demo of what those zodiacs and, and, and you know and, and tell because. I just feel like this week was important and I will tell you every single Zodiac because I beg spirit I'm like just I need something different every single Zodiac had a different lesson and I just love when that happens okay um, so let's just say you know let's just do make this an ether reading you know this is what the ethers want you to know or this is what's going on with the ethers and what's important you know for the week of you know, July 13th, 2020. So uh, I'm just going to give you a little demonstration on how I did this, okay? So you got forgiveness. And ironically enough, that did not come out. So the universe, you know, and you got regret at the bottom of the deck. So the universe is, you can't change the past. Don't hold on to regret. So I acknowledge that I'm harboring resentment that blocks the flow of love. So to me, this looks like there's there's something here. You need to forgive someone or someone, uh, vice versa. However, this is going to roll for you, right? So someone's holding on to some regret from the past, you know. So to me, it's like moving forward. You know, will somebody forgive me? Will, will they not, you know? Are you going to forgive yourself for holding on to what you've been holding on to and, and not living your life because you're worried about what somebody else can feel you know so it's this would be complicated um and i'm not really going to get into it like that but it's important for you guys to know this too because i'm doing this read for the collective so it's basically telling me you're holding on to something and forgive yourself this is more forgive yourself because regret is underneath the deck right and then you got growth but how can anything grow how can anything expand or evolve unless you consciously move forward Right, so someone's holding on to some some type of regret. It's it's just hard to to move forward. Um, that's what some of you guys are actually experiencing. Okay, so the ethers a message for the collective for the week of July thirteenth, twenty twenty. And when this is said and done, I can tell you if I can release it, relate it to another Zodiac. But right now, it's, it's a little different. So you're getting to know somebody. Okay, so as you really reveal, ha reveal how you feel or, or what's, you know, going on and being said, your bond would deepen. You are scared to move forward. Um, a little hesitant to, to open your heart, right? But that's what needs to be done all right and the more you spend time with somebody you know the better it's, it's time to kind of like disconnect from what other people would think people places things whatever's going on in your life right now um i i wonder with regret here if you're wondering will someone forgive me for for moving forward because it looks like there's somebody new in someone's life you know and and not only is there somebody new or something new now you're questioning is is it safe you know because you're still holding on to something from the past. The the past you can't change the past. So there's don't sit in regret. There's, there's no point because you can sit in this for a very long time. It's a lesson. Okay. So you know, accept that you've been harboring this. You know, this this feeling. Because until you do, you you can't push through, right? So, and this is you know, if you're with somebody, take the time. <clears throat> Could it be a destined situation, a new opportunity in love with the star in the cup? Yeah, right? And maybe somebody's like, oh, man, you know, this is hard. This is a really hard newness that we have on the board. So <clears throat> can you tell me what this getting to know each other is regarding, you know, the empress? 
All right, so maybe somebody new. Could there be a new offer? Could there be, you know, right now it looks like, you know, there's a feminine that could be holding back or it's more like as she opens up, you know, um, you know, it becomes a little easier for her. Maybe she's having a hard time. Is this safe? You know, um, maybe this is, I'm getting really close. Like there's a lot because with the four of cups being there too, you know, the offer is there, but it, it's kind of like, you're not really dwelling on the past per se. It's more, is this going my way? Is, is it going to be more than what I think it's going to be? Um, more than what I've gotten in the past, you know, but it's like, it's right in front of you, but almost like you can't see it yet because it's, it's like not meant for you to see it, right? So you kind of got to work on you and, and you opening up. You know what I mean, Jelly Beans? And what is this? It's safe for you to love regarding. So right now there's just, there's a little fear, you know, um, so the even the feminine could be have been holding on to harboring something for a very long time and it's it's a blockage and it's you know only you would know what that is it might even be someone you know cuz it's like it's something that's you know you might have offered a long time ago and and somebody never took you know it is the four of cups you know, so what is this is safe for you to love regarding? Got the two of pens, so it's it's balance. It's, this is this is heavy on you, okay? Um, it's a lot of hardship, it's a lot of it's a lot of weight. You're you're trying to have balance, create balance, see the balance. Is it safe? One foot in, one foot out, you know, <clears throat> that type of energy. So you're going to be dealing with that. Tell me about retreat, please. What is this retreat regarding? So this is what you're, you're going through, you know, is, is this safe? Do I, do I feel comfortable? Okay. Am I going to nurture this? Do I have the strength to nurture this? Cause you got strength at the bottom of the deck. So You've been through a lot, you know, um, and, uh, you know, that expression, you know, oh, you're so strong, you can get through anything. Yeah, but it doesn't mean you're not tired, right? Because it looks like you need a freaking break. It's like, I'm tired of being strong. I'm tired of this. But instead of doing that whole spiel, you know, try to look at something a little, a little differently. You do have the six of wands with the alchemist, with the sun. So it is a little bit of a challenge because... Now you have every tool you need to push through, persevere, to be successful. So you might need to just take a step back and, and realize what you do have versus the way it's actually going. Because it, is, it, is it going my way or is it not going my way? It's not really going my way. Or I'm not really seeing it. So how do I remove a blockage? You know, if it's a blockage for you guys, there's a strong magnetic connection between you and somebody. It's it's a given. It's it's right here. <clears throat> so you can nurture it if you choose to, and this could be all vice versa. A, a masculine thinking about a feminine. Okay, I'm just using the feminine as a good example because she came out on top of getting to know each other. Is it safe for me to do this? Right? So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody from your past, but something from your past is resurfacing a feeling. You know, something that's been harboring love. It's, it's almost like if you do know this person, it wouldn't be the first time there's been heartache. Because now you're questioning whether or not it's safe. But you can't change the past. So you've been harboring something, whether you're aware of it or not. So I don't know if it's just like, ah, oh, I need it to go in my direction. What is this four cups regarding? You know, but you can create something here and, and be very successful at it. You know, um, and it's all about balance. 
for you right now too. How you're how you're looking at something. Yeah. So it's the wheel. It's it's luck. It's a new cycle. Okay. The eight of cups popped out too. So you wanna walk towards it. You want a new cycle, right? But you're questioning whether or not it's safe. Is there too much on my plate? Is there not enough on my plate? Um you know, so this is just an example. A lot of you might relate to this and just know there's a new cycle and there's a new there's a new opportunity to create. Okay, it, it's here. Um, I do feel like you've been harboring something. I, I don't see it here, but it's here. And it, it might not even be something you need to acknowledge. It's just... If you let your guard down and you tell yourself it's it's safe for you to move forward, it's it's gonna be easier to love. It, things will will flow better for you. So it's not that that necessarily needs to be acknowledged unless you absolutely know what that's talking about. To be honest with you, with all these cards and how it's coming out, I, I don't feel like. This is, oh, I need an apology or you need to apologize. I think it's just acknowledge that, you know, you've been having a really hard time, you know, letting love flow. You know what I mean? If that makes sense? Because I don't see a blockage. Even though it's a blockage, but it's not like, hey, you got to work on it. You know what I mean? It's not... I mean, obviously you got to work on, on stuff, but I hope that kind of makes sense to you. I think the more you just get to know this person with retreat and heart to heart, it's just, it's, it's going to expand and spirit just wants you to know it's safe, whether you're the masculine or the feminine in this situation, you know, and you might have a hard time moving forward with somebody right now too, knowing that you've had a past with them and you know, who knows what's, what's underlined there. Cause you can't change the past it is the future is here. It's, it's something needs to be acknowledged and created and it looks like it can be extremely successful. You know, so to me, you're walking towards happiness. You're, you're leaving an old cycle behind. You you know, good chance you guys are probably getting to know somebody and you're just questioning right now, is, is this safe? Because it doesn't feel stable. There's, you know, if you're trying to gain the balance, then there's probably something that's not making you feel secure, you know, but that... No need to get into that right this second because it's not on the board. I'm just reading into it for you. I don't want that many. So this, you know, I, I am, the, the one that did pop out is heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, a breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. You know, so this is somebody that too could be getting to know somebody new and, and needs to let go of the past. Yeah. See, I can't really read it that way. This is telling me that this feminine is heartbroken, but I don't know if you see it. I think you've been holding on to pain. So I just like, is it, you're feeling like, is it safe for me to take this new cup? Because you're not seeing how something's going to go. You're not feeling secure or balanced. But it's almost like, you know in a way something can be successful, but you just really need some time with this person, with whatever this is regarding for you guys, okay? So this is underlined stuff that's now coming to the surface and I, I I'll tell you this is the way I did the zodiacs for the week but this is nothing came out like this so this is something that you guys need to acknowledge and be aware of that something is going down between you and, and someone and clearly it's you know 
can I do this? You know, you got the phoenix, all right? So it's a new phase, a rekindling, a renewal, a transformation, growth, you know, changed mind. So it looks like within this next week, you will feel probably like it's a little more safe for you to open up. You will realize you're stepping into a new phase. You do have the wheel. It's a new cycle, right? You could be rekindling with, with someone or talking to someone. Let me see if I can get a card for this forgiveness. This goes this goes way back. Okay, so there's something here. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, a union, completion. I'm not saying they're going to put a ring on your finger right now. But this is something that's lasting. And it's a new cycle. So I don't know if you've been harboring pain. This this reminds me of like you knowing somebody or taking back an ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-husband. You know what I'm saying? Or the the kids, your kid's father. This is what is is pulling me to like a a, a past person, somebody you know, cuz it, it's like can you do this again because it's coming back around. So for those who are dealing with somebody that they already know, You know, it, it can escalate for sure, you know, but you got to forgive. Maybe you took somebody back after a really big argument or something major and the universe is saying, hey, this can still work. Okay. But, um. There's something you've been holding on to, and I don't even think you're aware of it, but that's okay. It's already being transformed. Okay? Maybe this person really hurt you in the past, or you hurt them, and you're questioning, will I truly ever forgive them? Will, can we get through this? Can we push through? Is it safe? It's all that energy. So to me, you know this person, or somebody is coming back around the corner this week, and you're like, holy shit. Wow type energy okay I'm gonna actually talk to somebody get to know this person again maybe it's been a really long time who knows but then all of a sudden it's like defense you know but retreat take time something could be successful here nurture it she's extremely nurturing okay know that there's some type of union the eternal love commitment partnership engagement there's there's something here whether you've been holding on to this or, or they have Maybe, you know, it's just something that hasn't been acknowledged yet or you don't realize it or maybe it just really won't come to the surface like that. This was like a straight up reading for you guys this week too. It was a demo, but a straight up reading, okay? So I, I think it's it's more, you got to let this flow. There is something here. This is telling me there's there's definitely a future, whether you get married, believe in it or not, regardless, it doesn't matter. It's being transformed and rekindled, okay? Um, so flow all right so this is how i did the zodiacs this week all right um so if you'd like to purchase all 12 zodiacs i will send them to you via email you can go to the description box below it say to benefit our channel you can put in the 15 dollars, and I, I will send it to you okay or you can always check out my patreon page and you know i, I do have one that's nine dollars a month okay and you'll get this every week but i, I just I had to go in between the two tiers and, and make it an even price, okay? Um, and I, I just wanted to make, I just wanted this week's available to everybody who might want it because it, it's, I did do it differently and it, it is extremely beneficial and every single Zodiac did get different lesson lessons topics it, it's just it was I just like the way it was done this week so I just wanted to make sure that um <clears throat> you all had the opportunity to enjoy okay I love you guys this is also this is also has a lot to do with um this week's energy too okay so hang in there it, it's just surprise patience is in here all right um but you got this. So I'm, I'm glad I did this little demo and it's kind of like a daily read. All right. I love you guys. Bye.